Vision from the Florence Regional Arts Alliance at 120 Maple Street, beautiful downtown Florence. Today I'd like to paint a small flower for you and kind of give you an idea how it's done. So let's get started. So what I have here today is our typical 16 by 20 canvas. And what I'd like to do with a three quarter brush, I'd like to get a bit of a crimson color on here to represent the dark aspects of this flower. So very loose, very free, just create the flower shape itself. Very little paint, so it's practically dry. And then with that, I'm going to grab a tiny touch of maybe phthalo blue with that crimson and show the center of that flower and kind of pull outward the cup, the center of that cup. It's very dark in the center. We pull outward a little bit of color. So it creates the center darker from the outside. In fact, you can already see the rim of the flower already. See, for example, there is the opening of the flower. And so we can kind of treat it as if that was a funnel. And we're going to go down into the funnel of that flower. So I'll go back to my palette and grab a little more of the crimson with a little touch of the Naples yellow, keeping it on the darker side. And I'll go down that funnel right through that line as if I was going right down through the throat of that flower in that cup funnel right down to the where it exits all right right around there now i can take a little more of the yellow and then show a separation between the two so now i have two petals one two going right down the center of that cup okay now we can work on the front so i'll grab a little more of the white and the naples yellow and I'll show where I left off a very light edge. And now I'll take the Naples yellow and a little bit of crimson and I'll go right down the front of that flower, right down the throat of what we were trying to say in the beginning, this funnel. And already you can see how you're getting a distinction between the front side and the back side. And with a little more of that Naples yellow, I'll go towards the bottom here again and making that a little brighter I can actually show a separation between one petal versus another there real simple to do just showing the separation with edges there. just showing that separation so we have one two three four petals now to finish this off I can take a little bit of a sap green and yellow and with a very light pressure I can create a stem and a little bit of a, a bud opening from that flower and with even a little bit of that Naples yellow and green I can plop the brush down here and wiggle that and create the feeling of a leaf. Well I hope that was uh, helpful to you to show you how it can be really simplified and until next time, I'm John Leisure from the Florence Regional Art Alliance, and hope to see you in the next session.